Okay, I want you to find a spot that you are comfortable and won't be interrupted for about five or six minutes. I want you to lay down on your back. It could be on a bed, it could be on a couch, it could be just on the floor. And I want you to put your hands on either side of you. Outstretch your legs. Head is relaxed. Eyes are closed. And from there, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more deep one in and out. Feel the tension release from your body. And we're going to do something called progressive relaxation. So we're going to start from your feet and I want you to just splay out your toes like a cat stretching its claws and stretch those toes and relax them. And now keeping your feet relaxed, I want you to tighten up just your legs by locking your knees. The feet or heels may come right off the ground. Blood rushes to the quadriceps. Hold it there, hold it there, and relax the legs. Another breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And now leaving your limbs relaxed, I want you to just tighten your glutes your abs and your chest. Hold your toes, torso tight for three, two, one, and release your torso. And now curl your hands into fists at your sides. Tighten the arms by locking the elbows. Blood rushes to the triceps and relax the arms. Another breath in and out. And next, I want you to shrug your shoulders up to your ears and back down. Eyebrows up high on the forehead, mouth goes into an O, and hold your face into an O, and relax your face. Another breath in and out. And now putting it all together, I want you to start at your feet again and splay your toes wide open like a cat stretching its claws. Add the legs by locking the knees. Add the glutes, the abs, the chest, the fists, locked elbows, shrug the shoulders up, eyebrows up on the forehead, mouth goes into an E, and hold your whole body tight, 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 and relax the entire body. Another slow breath in and out. And feeling your body very relaxed. I want you to allow your mind to go on a little mental journey backwards. So I want you to think back as far as you can into your youth and childhood. And think way, way back to your youngest memories of food. Trying to remember what your favorite foods were, maybe as a little kid, maybe some of your least favorite foods any funny experiences or memories of food with you. Perhaps you remember some from seeing pictures of yourself as a kiddo in a high chair. And then as you get a little farther ahead into more of your cognitive memories, I want you to try to remember what your relationship with food was like in your home, created by those around you, your family, was dessert something that you had every night? Was it a rare occurrence? Was dessert something that was earned as a reward for finishing or clearing your plate? Or for having good behavior in a day? Did you get treated to going out to ice cream? Were you expected as a child to clear your plate and eat every bite? Or were you allowed to leave things behind? Were you a child that liked to try lots of different foods or were you a very picky eater? And as you get a little bit older, 
Think of getting shots at the doctor's office or have you ever broke an arm or leg? Had a bad day? Going into adolescence through hormones and puberty? Were you treated to foods to make you feel better emotionally? What was the role that was played by food in your life growing up? Did both parents cook or did one parent take that role on? Was food ever used as a negotiation or manipulative tool? Did anyone in your household have eating issues or obsess about their weight or about foods? Was attention ever drawn to your own weight or looks? Was there healthy things modeled for you in the way of diet and exercise? And as you listen to all of these questions that I bring up, notice in your body if any muscle group has tightened up did your eyebrows furrow or your shoulders sneak upwards towards your ears again? Do you feel tension anywhere in your body? And if you do, just ask it gently to relax. Let the tension go. The past is the past. It is not your present. But it's a great awareness to understand where some of these messages that you may deeply hold on to in your subconscious have come from? Or do you listen to all of that with apathy and know that really there is no triggers around emotions and food, no tie, no connection for you? And then I want you just to let your mind wander forward from today on what do you want your relationship with food to be like? If you could paint the perfect utopia for yourself of your relationship with food as fuel, of being in control of your urges and willpower, of feeling empowered versus disempowered by food, what relationship do you want to create as an adult, letting go of the past, letting go of old habits. If you got to clean the slate and build something fresh and new from here forward, what would it look like? And just allow your mind to wander a little bit with what your ideal is for your own relationship with how you nourish yourself. Letting go of the past, letting go of childhood, adolescence, college, letting go of even the partner or family members in your household and just knowing that you alone get to create the relationship that you want to have with food. And feel the lack of tension in your body when you think about really being the one in charge, being the one in control, being the one to define and create how you want to operate from here forward. And then very slowly be in tune to your body again. Feel the support of whatever is beneath your feet, your heels the back of your calves, your tailbone, shoulders, the back of your head, your arms and the sides of your hands. And very slowly take another breath in and blow it out. And whenever you're ready, let your eyes adjust to the light 
Stretch your arms up above your head and take a breath in of positive energy and empowerment. <laughs> 